We're setting up for testing an RS-25 engine, which is similar to the previous Space Shuttle main engine that was used in the Space Shuttle program. And so we're going to be testing this engine to cover the new areas uh, for how this engine would operate under this new system called the SLS. The overall test objective for engine 0525, as it's currently on the stand, is to take it from the, the original SSME test profile up to the profile that's intended to be used on the SLS vehicle. And so in order to do that, instead of making that change all at once, which increased the overall risk level of the testing, we are gradually stepping through the changes to the start profile as well as the main steady state testing profile. So some of the two main changes from a hardware perspective on the engine are the controller and then some of the nozzle insulation. So the old controller was out of date and you can't even make it anymore, plus it wouldn't talk well with the other SLS computers. So we developed a new controller that can actually control the engine so that it stays on thrust and mixture ratio, one of our other key performance parameters, uh, is one of the main things we're doing in the test program. When you are running a hot fire test on an engine, there's more that goes into it than might meet the eye at first glance. It's not only the engine and the engine control software that has to be ready for tests. There's facility software and data recording systems. And all of the control systems have to properly talk to each other, which means they have to be speaking each other's language at the same time. And that's usually a difficult endeavor and takes, takes a few tries to get right. It usually doesn't happen on the first try. So we spent some months and some weeks putting some significant effort into making sure that that all ran seamlessly as it did on test 1008 for the RS-25. The first hot fire test followed the SSME test profile exactly so that we could establish that we could still run the engine in the same way that we did under the shuttle program. The second test program began stepping us into the RS-25 program objectives to be able to follow the new profile that's been established for the mission to Mars.